just wanted to thank you for taking the time to listen to this video uh, before I begin to instruct and teach uh, the way of blowing the flute um, I want to tell you that the most important thing is to make sure that you're playing it unto the Lord you know you need to minister first unto the Lord and then as you minister unto him he will then in return minister unto you and uh, will then begin to be able to uh, prophesy through you with his breath on this instrument um, it's very uh, important to minister to him first and always to worship him with the instrument and not to get into any kind of pride of like oh I can do this and I can do this and that on it and, and uh, that's not good so just always worship him in truth and spirit and holiness I like to just worship the Lord and just uh, let whatever sound happens come out of the flute uh, there's an instance where we was worshiping one time and uh, I just started blowing straight down into the flute more or less talking in the flute uh, with my breath and uh, letting sounds come out of my mouth down into the flute and uh, different uh, techniques like that uh, given unto the Lord uh, for his creative purposes that he has in his sound waves so you know there's a lot of interesting things that you can do to worship the Lord with so don't get so caught up in uh, you, how your sound is in the flute enjoy it because he enjoys it he enjoys to hear the sound of an instrument uh, that is given unto him and given to him for the glory of his name. So as I begin to explain, uh, just uh, have the peace of the Lord. I pray the peace of the Lord over you and that you would rest in his love and know that, that we love you and that we are praying for you and that you can do this. You can do all things through the anointing, Christ, which strengthens you. And uh, have a blessed day. And I pray that all goes well. In Jesus' name. Okay, I'm going to cover the scales and how to play the scale. Uh, starting with the uh, the first note on this minor flute in the E minor scale. Uh, whichever flute that you have, whether it's E minor, F minor, F sharp minor, G sharp minor, uh, the fingering patterns are all the same. So you can correlate what I'm doing here to your flute. And... Uh, this is where we start with all notes covered. This is the first note of the scale in the minor. And then you just release the first. And to play the eighth note of the scale, you will just release the top like this and keep all of them covered. Of course, you can play this by just blowing harder with all notes covered, okay? It's easier when you're running the scale to lift up the first finger, act as a vent hole to produce that note uh, to so you can play faster and quicker. Uh, and when you want to go past that note, starting on the eighth note, I'm going to show you how to get up the scale now. So this is the eighth note. Ninth, tenth, eleventh. Now to play the twelfth note, you can cover them all, or you can open up this one. And generally, it's a whole lot easier to open up this one. And on, on some of them, you may have to partially cover, uh, depending on uh, where the holes were placed in the flute. Uh, it's uh, a play-by-ear method really to be in tune you really don't notice these differences unless you're playing with other instruments which are tuned at 440 uh, playing by yourself it really doesn't really matter that much because you're not going to have nothing else to compare it to um, so here's how you play this note let me get work my way up to it Now, see, if I did not cover them, and I'll open that up, watch how flat it goes. Which is alright, that's another note in a, in a scale, um, but not necessarily in the minor scale. It's just a, a, a flatted note. Okay? Okay, 
Okay, now to get up to the next uh, note above that one, you just simply open up the next one on top and keep the bottom three covered like that. Now there's another note above that, which is the 15th note, I'm thinking about my numbers, 15th note, which is top two covered on your left hand, and the bottom first one, first finger on the right hand right there. Okay, so we'll walk all the way up to that. Next one is this finger here up. That's the 16th note. There is a 17th note above that uh, on these longer flutes. Uh, from about probably G, the A flute, you can reach up higher by pulling off and reach the 17th right there. Okay? You can slur up into it. I mean, slur, you don't uh, toot it. You just, shh, you just, when you're blowing, you just let it out like this. You know, the best way to play these flutes is to play it unto Him, unto the Lord our God Almighty. And uh, it doesn't really matter what the sound is. And, and I'll explain that because uh, sometimes when I'm playing the flutes, I, I, I just do different things like... It's all right. It's a sound. It's the breath of Yahweh blowing through you to create His purposes. And just be real and have fun and worship the Lord because He loves you and He loves to hear the sound of the flute. I believe that He's raising up an army of flutists and that there's going to be a great army of flutists that are going to be piping along into the victory that the things the Lord has for them. So... I hope this has helped you understand how to do the scale. I'll quickly go back over it again. I want to also explain a little bit more about the uh, where the mouth position goes on the flute. I'm going to demonstrate with the close-up of uh, me playing the flute, and uh, you'll see where the, the the bottom part of your lip will go against the flute. Um, keep in mind that the object of what you're doing is not like you're blowing over a bottle top. Uh, when you can pick up a soda bottle and you can just toot over it, it's not the same theory really. It's uh, a plane of flute is different than that kind of a theory. Uh, your air is being directed down into the flute but across the edge of it. You can see my edge of my lip is right there on the edge of the hole. I'll roll it out so you can see where it's actually at. See? And you roll it. Your air is going down across like this and you're actually blowing the down in there and you're causing the wind uh, to, to spin the air to spin like that and it's causing the the the, uh, the sound Praise the Lord, you can do it, and uh, email me at uh, lilyband at lilybandmusic.com, and we'll be glad to answer your questions and help you along with your flute, and uh, know that uh, we do love you, and we appreciate your prayers and support uh, in return, and uh, it's greatly appreciated, and we love you all. Bye-bye.